Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you what's new in our um, SynthMaster 2.9. Let's start off by instantiating a new SynthMaster 2.9. Now, as you see, it displays a message saying that it uh, detected a recent crash. So this is a new feature for Mac OS X. Um, if you click on yes, SynthMaster is going to send the crash report to our support so that uh, we'll be able to fix this issue ASAP and uh, provide you a more stable release. And I'm going to hit yes. And now the plugin has started as you see. I'm going to go ahead and change the skin to one of our new skins, um, the uh, Satya Tunes blue skin. As you know, we had the blue skin since version 2.8, and we also added uh, that skin in different scales, like 120%. I'm going to choose that one now. Let's close and reopen. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now I'm going to work using this skin. Another thing uh, that I notice uh, in this version is I see some, these rings around some controls. Th these rings are, um, these uh, circles actually, not rings. These circles indicate that these controls have modulation sources. You see, when I click on the knob, it displays the modulation targets here. And, the, and like that. That's a new feature. And also here, the modulation sources tab has changed. So if I click on, for instance, if I want to choose a key scaler here, it uh, displays a pop-up menu. And by using the pop-up menu, I can change the modulation source. Drag and drop still works, so if you want to modulate a parameter with a modulation source, just drag, click on the uh, tab button here and drag it onto the knob. And there you go, you're going to create a new modulation source. I'm going to go back to ADSR, the ADSR2 envelope. Now, another new feature we have in version 2.9 is that for the oscillators, we had the voices parameter we increase that to 16. So this way we're going to get a more uh, richer super saw sound with this increase. Now um, I'm going to go to a more major feature in version 2.9, uh, the wavetable support. I'm going to switch to wavetable. So you see now I see my wavetable uh, displayed in 3 in 3D. The waveforms in the wavetable are displayed in 3D, and we added all of the wavetables that we had in SynthMaster One, so you'll be able to use them with SynthMaster 2.9, like we have the basic pulse wave wavetables like this. Now let's go ahead and modulate the index parameter with the envelope. Yes, here we go. Some attack and decay, sustain and linear release. And let's also increase the release time for the volume envelope. And here we go. I'm also going to MIDI learn this with the mod wheel. Here we go. Now let's cycle through the wavetables. If you'd like, you can also display 
in the spectrum in three dimensions. Like this. You see, this is the this is like a low pass filter. You can see from the spectrum. Now, with the addition of wavetable support, we also added drag and drop support. So, if you want to imp for instance, let's look at this folder. We have a folder here with three subfolders. Um, I'm going to import this uh, now using drag and drop like this. Okay, here we go. So it uh, imported all of those wavetables and it loaded the first one in the list. So that is, it, they're under user category. That's the Serum 4088 table. So yeah. Uh, that's how we can load wavetables and use them. And also, if you want, um, I'm going to start off from scratch again. If you want, you can just uh, load the waveforms, in the individual waveforms here. From, you can choose from any single cycle waveform, including waveforms that are part of the wavetables like this. So you can load them onto the, these slots and you can create your custom wavetables. Or alternatively, you can use a wave file editor to create your wave tables and use them. Sitmaster supports that. Now, um, another uh, feature I'm going to show is the, the drag and drop sample import support. So I have some multi samples here, like a Buzuki instrument, Greek instrument, and also we have the Turkish Kanon. And we have a Western electro guitar. So I'm going to choose these folders and I'm going to drag and drop them here. And it imported all of them under samples and multi samples. You see Greek, Turkey, uh, Kanon, Buzuki, and electro guitar. And it loaded the first one, Buzuki. So let's play that. And Kanon. And electric guitar. Okay, so much for wavetables and samples. Now I'm going to go to um, the last major feature in version 2.9, I'm going to switch to the browser here. So under the banks list, you see three different buttons. The first one is by default selected. We are seeing the preset banks that are installed on this machine. There's also the purchased uh, uh, button, uh, purchased category. If I press on this one, I'm going to see the products that I purchased, but I haven't um, installed yet, like these preset banks. So let's click on one of them. Here I see the details of this bank. I can even click on the audio demo and go to the SoundCloud page and listen to the demo. Okay, yeah, I can listen to the audio demo. And since I haven't installed this one yet, I'm going to click on the download button here. And it's going to start downloading now. Let's also download this one. And this one. Oh yeah, here we go. It's downloading those three banks now. So this is going to take a while. 
And after uh, the download finishes for all of the banks, uh, SIPmaster is just going to install them behind the scenes without any user intervention, which is just like how the uh, apps on the App Store work. You just download them and use them and purchase in-app uh, expansions, in-app purchase in-app stuff. There you go, they're all installed and if I go to the installed list here, now I see all of these new banks. So let's, for instance, click on one of them. Here we go. Or this one. They're installed now. There's also the uh, show all um, list where we show all of the products from KB331 Audio. And here, if you'd like, uh, you can just, for instance, purchase some of them. Let's look at Nori Ibukata Art Track Basics. So if I click on the Buy Now button, oh, there's a message here. It says, when you complete your purchase, please right click on the products list and click on Refresh My Licenses menu to download and install the preset bank. So, okay, we are redirected to the purchase page. And after I complete my purchase here, I'm going to go back to the purchase list, right click, and I'm going to say refresh my licenses. It detected new expansion banks in my account, and yes, I would like to download them. So yeah, it started downloading those banks now. And it, after it finishes, of course, it's going to install them automatically, just like we did before. So guys, that's uh, what's new in version 2.9. Uh, I hope you like these improvements. Thank you for watching us.